I guess the older you get, the more wiser you get, and you can pass that on to younger people. Well, probably as an Indigenous woman in a university, um, um, given, given my age, um, lots of people actually call me um, auntie, and I find that um, quite often young people will actually come for advice. Quite often it's advice from anything from you know, like earlier on today, because we don't actually have that in person at the moment. I had a young girl come and need a notebook, and she was quite embarrassed about coming and asking if I could give her a notebook for her studies. But um, I think she felt at home. Just reassuring those young people that, yeah, it's really you know, it's a good step, come back to university. It's about telling people you know, how do you actually go about that, and just telling people how to um, do those things. Like, being able to say no without really saying no. So if you've got people who are dependent on you, how you go about saying to those people, um, you know, I'm really, I'm doing, I'm working as well as looking after my family and I'm actually now studying. So, you know, you can't really say to those people, well, I can't help you anymore. It's about actually helping those people help themselves. Mm. And we've had some um, really great Indigenous graduates come through KCU. Um, and it's really, um, it's really inspiring when you actually see those young people then taking on jobs in the in the community and helping out our people in the community. Um, it'd be really nice if the hierarchy would actually sit down and consult with. And when I say consult, it's not about um, you know consulting with someone and walking away and saying, "Oh well, you know, I've consulted with them, so now I'll just get on and do whatever it is that I want to do anyway." But I mean consulting and. Um, listening to what people are actually saying, hearing what they're saying and taking that on board and valuing what people actually have to say.